Hey there, Ron Cooks with Infinite Client. Just uh, something else that came across my mind as I'm talking to agents. First off, I am a regional manager with a company right here in Texas, and I have the honor and pleasure uh, to assist agents in the Central Texas region, and I absolutely love that. And what I've come across a lot is the fact that when an issue arises with one of my agents with their clients, the first thing that I do is tell them is to reduce the emotional energy that they have with this file. You see, energy transfers, energy moves. And my bad mood can be transferred to someone's bad mood uh, even just by entering a room. You need to be that safe place for your clients. You know, when you're on an aircraft, the first thing they ask you to do when your ox oxygen mask drop is to apply the mask to yourself first before you assist somebody else. And that's what I'm telling you to do. You need to be that solid rock. You need to be that solid foundation so that they can have refuge. If you are drowning with them, who's saving whom in this situation? So please keep yourself emotionally detached as much as you can. Now, yes, Ron, easier said than done. So the way that I do it is simply deal with the facts of the file. That's it. Deal with the facts and let's go to the contract. As far as transferring news is concerned, the best way to relieve that is to deliver bad news as fast as you get it. Do not carry that burden. I, there was a time when I got some bad news on a client on Friday and I didn't say anything to them until Monday morning. Guess who had difficulty sleeping that entire weekend? Guess who could not enjoy whatever it is that they were dealing with that that weekend with their family. That was me. I could not do that because I am carrying the burden of that issue. I am emotionally carrying all of that baggage. So I learned fairly quickly that the first thing that I need to do was release it. So as soon as I get bad news or not favorable news, not necessarily bad, but as soon as I get news that my client will not like, before I put my phone down, I am dialing my clients. I am letting them know, hey, here's what's going on. I don't have all of the facts yet. As soon as I get it, I'll give it to you. I'm finished. It's done with me as far as carrying that emotional baggage. Now, the person who is selling the home or buying the home, they are now carrying that baggage as they should. I am simply helping you obtain the property or transfer the property to someone else. That's it. As far as my emotional connection to the property, to the transaction, to the deal, to living with this place for a while or getting the equity out of the house and moving on and enjoying your life. I take no part in that. I have just a very small sliver uh, in this timeline of things to come. So why should I carry all that baggage? I don't. So keep it separated. And then if it's bad news against you, for example, if it's they don't like your performance or something, got it. Take that energy and move it someplace else quickly. You know, uh, being worried about something or carrying that bad baggage does nothing. It is very counterproductive. So when I get bad news or when I receive something that I don't like or that my clients decided to unload on me, I find an exercise that I need to do and I pour myself into that exercise or I pour myself into another client. I just fire and forget. Just leave it alone because it's not worth carrying all of that. So I tell that all to you. Now, I'm not telling you to don't care. That's different. I care about each of my files. I'm just not going to get myself emotionally tied up to it. They pay me a lot, but they don't pay me enough to get that part of me, all right? Especially since you are working on getting better and then it takes just one, just one bad thing to not only destroy your day, but to destroy your week, maybe month and year. And you don't wanna go into that cycle at all. So release it quick. On another note, when I get good news, I hold it. 
for as long as I possibly can. Why? Because I am charged. That is positive energy I want to keep on. Now, I'm not talking about holding it the entire weekend. So if I get some good news Friday, I'm not going to hold that back. No, I'm just not going to rush and call them. And instinctively, we do the opposite. You know, bad news, we hold good news. We rush to tell the clients. I tell you, if you reverse that, it'll make your own self worth a little better or your 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 self psyche a little better. Getting rid of that news, the bad news quickly and holding the good news. So if I do receive something on Friday, I hold it for a couple of hours, but I do share that with them. But let me tell you that anticipation of, hey, I can't wait to sit down and tell my clients about this. This is going to be wonderful. Uh, that actually gives you a positive boost. And I want you to hold on to that. All right. Just something again from the top of my head, like subscribe, do the things that you need to do or that you know to do here on YouTube. And I'm going to pass out a lot of these tidbits because I know it's going to affect one person. And that's all I seek right now. I'm Ron Cooks. I'm with Infinite Client. It's always a pleasure sitting here talking to you. Looking forward to doing this a lot more. You take care. Bye.